Intralogistics is the bloodstream of manufacturing processes, and a significant part of industrial value chain. Any issues affecting this area, such as increasing deficit of human workforce, or the obsolete tools still used for transport of materials, parts, and products, have their impact on efficiency and resiliency of operations. Perhaps the most important issue, that many operation managers overlook, is the changing context of intralogistics. New requirements impact how the manufacturing or warehousing business needs to be run. First, there is a growing variability of products demand, caused by hyper-competition. Customers expect personalization and innovation. Product life cycles get more chaotic, affecting stability of supply chains. Supply chain ecosystems are affected by unexpected events. Second, this has to be reflected in more agile processes. All business cycles are squeezed for time reductions, while processes need to be more flexible, without compromising efficiency, or continuity of operations. All this affects the daily dynamics of systems and traffic patterns on the shop floor. As the result, factory and warehousing operations have to deliver not just efficiency and reliability, but also flexibility and data for fast, accurate, and evidence-based decisions. This new context is transformational. It covers entire manufacturing value chain. Concepts such as Industry 4.0 help us build the vision of digital factory, enabled by a new breed of automation solution smart machines. Machines that have a degree of autonomy and need much less prescriptive control. They also support interoperability with other components of shop floor ecosystem, including human actors. Smart machines are just the beginning. They need to be integrated into systems and then into processes which take advantage of autonomy, interoperability, and data. Such smart processes can become building blocks of efficient, reliable, flexible, data-driven operations. But how to start? Transformation in other industries usually starts in three places, digital value propositions and customer relationships, data monetization, and digitalization of operations. We believe that intralogistics is one of the key enablers of digital factory. Actually, we believe you cannot build a smart, digital factory, or warehouse, without your intralogistics becoming smart in the first place. And smart intralogistics based on autonomous mobile robots is an excellent game changer, which can inject flexibility into operations and increase their intelligence. AMRs need no prescriptive control. They work as a fleet, executing missions defined by warehouse management or manufacturing execution systems, and navigate based on rules, virtual workspace and traffic regulations. It is often said that digital transformation is not about computers, but about business models, customer value, and agility. Similarly in smart intralogistics, what truly matters is the process. AMR-based transport system can be seen as an efficient and flexible foundation of manufacturing process. A set of transport tasks reflecting the current logic of production line. Tasks such as distributing materials and parts from storage to the production line intakes, advancing the product between production nests and value chain, or supporting the final product consolidation, assembly and storage. Here is a good example how the transport system is plugged into manufacturing process. Versabots need no human operator. Robots are controlled by the Autonomy at Work platform, which takes orders directly from manufacturing execution system. Whenever there is a batch of car seats ready for being moved from welding to painting, or from painting to finish, Versabots start to roll. Moreover, Versabots are integrated with devices used to feed the components into welding, or painting facilities, for accurate docking maneuvers. A well-documented API allows to define all necessary integration points with software systems and production line controllers. Naturally, similar transport system can be provided also for warehouse management processes. The high volume, internal warehouse operations are usually handled by solutions specialized in 3D storage management. Still, AMR's base system can prove very useful as an interface between specialized storage management solution and the surrounding inbound and outbound activities. Here are five best practices for implementing AMR-based transport system. Number one, process trumps technology. It does not make much sense to test or evaluate robots without a vision of manufacturing or warehouse management system evolving requirements. Number two, aim for interoperability and integration. You do not want to spend much time and resources managing individual robots. Think of AMRs as your digital intralogistics outsourcer. Digital factory transport system should be a well-designed component providing automated touch points with shop floor software and hardware infrastructure. Number 3. People matter, you should therefore plan for reskilling. Introducing autonomous system does impact jobs. 
you will need people in new roles, such as process designers, fleet managers, or fleet technicians. In overall balance, you are likely to need less staff as the Versabots take on the mundane, unattractive work. The good news is that you will create higher quality jobs, which are likely to provide solid satisfaction and engagement. Number four, leverage existing process specific innovations. Introduction of new tools can greatly benefit from ideas that have been invented for existing transport solutions. You may often adopt existing proprietary payload handling devices for collaboration with autonomous robots. Enriching them with IoT components, so that Versabots can control them automatically, may often lead to more accurate, and more efficient, integrated solution. And finally, redesign, do not replicate. The capabilities of AMR-based transport system can eliminate trade-offs and compromises embedded in the current transport system. Think about qualities such as agility, versatility, machine-to-machine -machine communication, when rethinking and redesigning your current process. Here is another, real-life example, showing how the difference between design and replication can be measured in six-digit numbers. Top left corner shows a simulation of AMR-based transport system replicating existing logistics train solution. The system achieves its objectives, but the heat map shows significant traffic congestion issues. These are due to the fact that logistic trains cannot make U-turns, or go backwards in narrow corridors. But this traffic pattern can be redesigned for AMRs, who can easily navigate in both directions, and can turn on the spot. Corridors are still narrow, so the traffic management software has to make sure that only one Versabot occupies each of them at any moment. The bottom right simulation shows the result. System objectives are achieved with much less traffic congestion. But what is more important, this solution requires smaller fleet. The difference between 9 and 6 robots makes over 100,000 euro in cash, a solid gain. Smart intralogistics does not just mean more efficient, reliable, and flexible processes. For Versabox it also means smarter investment decisions. Enabled by Virtual Factory. Simple but powerful process design and simulation component of the Autonomy at Work platform. Versabox. We make the autonomy work. For you.